And we go back with part 5 to our castle walls. The last episode, we've been completed for chapter 5 and 6. And at this point in the story, me and Yuri are officially boyfriend and girlfriend. It's fucking mad. But we'll deal with it. And now, we're doing chapter 7. I'm very excited for chapter 7. See, because this is the day of the festival, so I'm very excited to see where this takes place in the story. So, honestly, without further ado, load our lovely little save. This is where we left off. I'll play uh, chapter 7, and if I got tired, I'll probably play chapter 8 as well, depending on how long chapter 7 is. We'll have to see. Without further ado, though, let's begin. Uh, what? <laughs> Ask me when I come in bed, like, what? Who am I? <laughs> So they rise in from bed, rubbing my sleep out my eyes, and trying to adjust the eyesight to everything. I can't help but already feel that something is... off. Not that. Missing. Squinting my alarm clock shows... 7 or 1. I forgot to set my alarm! Not the f not a festival day! Yeah, definitely. Being brought to life in panic fashion, I quickly hop out of bed and practically jog to my bathroom to be a quick breath. Qu a quick breath. Yeah, a, cr a quick breath. Definitely. Once that's all done, I also get dressed as fast as I can. I rush downstairs and quickly get one bottle because you're ready. That's the right one. Oh, is this where he's gonna forget about the fucking... the banner? Whatever the fuck they're doing? I'm in too much of a hurry. I really don't want to be a late session with me. But he's fast I'm probably gonna get a take up today. today. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Simmons is locking the door as soon as I place a bowl. What? This early? Who could that be? It's... Hey, it's Yuri! She has the bag we made roll up with her. As we still. This is already weird because we're both a boyfriend and girlfriend at this point. As we stare at each other for a bit, I'm a loss of words. Hi, Blue. Not gonna lie, I was betting this. Yuri! Um, good morning? <laughs> and to you too. I can't help but smile, but I also feel a surprised right now. A beach chat thing. Is she a boy person or something? What's going on? Well. I was hoping we could go to school together. Now that we're... I think I get what she's getting at. But smile my face, I step out the door and take my hand of mine for the sentence. <laughs> I don't like that. Haha. <laughs> I'm like this already. The sights and feelings were almost pitch perfect. Her smile becomes more genuine and her hand feels as gentle as I remember. I love that we were both start for school. Well, that's fucking amazing. My question of being late has gone down all thanks to her. Good old Yuri fashion. It's nice out. It, it, it's as nice out as if it likes to be. It's partly sunny, and while the breeze is very light, it's not too chilly outside. This could be a very interesting day. Yes, indeed. Especially on festival day. It's still... It's, it will still be a full day with a lunch period, but every club at the school gets a chance throughout the day to prepare whatever they need for the festival afterwards. Except for our club, which has to set up the event right after the last period. <laughs> Forget how, like, um... This music's like, oh, we've got to go to adventure. So swingy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the school grounds look a bit different today. Also, thank God, too, I haven't got to worry about fucking Wallace. So, yay. The court is covered in all sorts of flowers that weren't there before. Red. Salvia. I've heard of saliva. <laughs> Yellow lilies, green carnations, blue hibiscus, and purple hy hydrangea. Sounds like, sounds like a fucking mythical... Wait, hydra, yeah. Sounds like a mythical creature. Uh, make for a pleasant sight and smell. But it doesn't take away this irrational fear I felt for the entire whole walk here. Maybe about if one of our club members sees me and you're like this. I mean, it's not to be ashamed of, right? Maybe I'm just un unsure of what the reaction will be. I'm sure that's a cure made after Twisted Warriors, but they'll all fight out eventually. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll accept it. To be fair, if Natsuki. Natsuki in, like, the Blue Skies game was just like, I don't care about you, you'll kiss them house, because I don't fucking like that shit. Or so whatever the fuck it is. So I wonder what they're going to do here. As me and Yuri come close to the coast of the students approaching the school, her hand carefully breaks away from mine, and both are oh, caught ourselves. It's like she's ever mine or something. I look over her to give her a genuine smile, as if to say, I don't worry, I understand why. Carefully looking around, she's none of the club members in sight. I guess we got lucky. Whew. Oh, please tell me Wallace is gonna fuck me in the arse. He said he shouldn't begin, but I feel like he's gonna begin. <laughs> Stepping outside of the school and making our way to the locker, a few students look at me and Yuri walking together for a little bit for whatever reason. Surprisingly enough, it's not bothering me too much. Maybe it's to be, too, to be expected or something. 
Watch out my locker and I'm ready for the day. You wake this up again. Blue. Remember what I said about Legend Tomb a few days ago? I take some searching back in my memory blank memory banks, but I think I got it. Yeah, you said just leave everything to mine in the classroom, right? Yes, you remembered. I'll be around that time, okay? I'll see you then. I can't help but think of how different today's gonna be. Yeah, indeed. 3 p.m. Okay. We're skipping right to the club, are we? On the dot. I am fucking cold. Yo, give me a second. I need to put my fucking dressing gown on. I don't know why I'm fucking freezing. Again, the things I do with my fans are alright. That famous line of the tail is as comfortable as it looks. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this shit then, shall we? Now it's most definitely right. Yeah, we have a weird anticipation, excitement, whatever the word is today going to be in my head that made me focus on classes more than possible. Luckily, the teachers were pretty chill today and barely any assignments were handed out, thank god. Let's the Euro today was a success. She kept things really simple with PBJ and apples for us, that's fair. It's probably because there'll be food stands for us when we get to enjoy the festival together. And as I'm doing my math class, I'm making my way towards the club room, and the excitement about today is coming more intense, like it's running through my entire body or something. This is where I get interesting. Approaching and entering the club room shows the actual usual scene, but it's a bit different, due to what today is. Natsuki is at her desk near her closet with a huge tray of cupcakes. Yuri's over the chalkboard with a roll-up banner, so Yuri's messing around with something. I'm not sure what, but Monica is currently obstructing my vision. Hi, Blue. Glad to see you can make it. Her sinus makes me smile. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good. How do you feel about today? I can feel my smiles like going away. Not gonna lie, bit nervous about everything's gonna turn out. Hey, don't worry about it, bud. Everything's gonna be just fine, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Don't forget, we'll be here in case something happens. Did Yuri say something like that yesterday? Yesterday? Oh, hey! How did Fistic say we're supposed to go yesterday? Monica's expression immediately changed to one of unamusement. Oh, dear lord, I'm never going to that girl's house again. What? I thought she was supposed to be the cool cat around here. Whew. Now she eats all the snacks I bought myself. That girl still makes endless, I swear. That's not very nice. And she goes dancing around her house when we were watching the opera and almost broke my printer. Like, for real. Who dances to an opera? Huh. <laughs> That's exactly what Mysterio would do. Now that I think about it, I don't think I really saw what she's doing. Taking a moment to direct my vision towards her, she's masturbating now. <laughs> What's she doing? What can I what Sarah's doing as well? She just placed the pamphlets down for our guests to read today. Neat. I thought I'd take a look at real quick. Not even taking two steps away from Varka, she managed to grab onto my arm and stop me in place. Just know that if you spoil yourself, everyone's poems would stay if you were worried to check them out. Now that she mentions that, I think I'll be a surprise for me. Alright, thanks for telling me. No problem. She's now giving me that whatever it's supposed to be look, yep. Like, it looks like half sexual, half like, ooh, you're into something. I'm sure a certain someone here could really use your help right now, but now. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Oh, I bet she's talking about. Yep, Yuri. I <laughs> fucking got it. Check out the chalkboard once again. I can only guess that Yuri has lost in thought or something. The thoughts of getting. To help her out with decorating the room is pretty exciting. Right, I'll see you around. Like even acknowledging what kind of face Mark has given me, I walk up to Yuri and see what she's up to. This weird nervous has talked to her that I felt on my second day of the club showing up, probably due to the fact she's my girlfriend now. Yeah, I guess viewing her by, th by this way and having it be real is Mr. Real. Hey, I feel okay over there? Hello, Blue. All was well. I was just picturing how the banner would look across the board. Huh? Now I'm kind of curious. Look at with the chalkboard and over to the banner. It looks like it will be just long enough to cover the width of the chop. Um, huh? 
shall we get started decorating the room? I really want to take a hand to show how happy I am to get this done, but the others might course out about it, so I'm going to always smile at her. That sounds great! What's the best thing to do? Alright, her smile also gets me. <laughs> but I'm just her eyes so little Yeah, her smile is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> she reaches into a bag and pulls out four candles of the same kind. Two things of tape, a light search of black paper, and sets everything on a closed closet desk. Oh shit. This is what I was waiting for. Did you remember to bring the door curtain? And of course he's gonna say no because he was late. Oh! <laughs> Thank fuck. I sure did. I legit thought <laughs> that would have been funny if he forgot. <laughs> that would have been funny, but oh well. I'm, I'm kinda happy that didn't happen. I proceed to take all seven parts of my door curtain out of my backpack, sure. Excellent. Please place them on the desk and take one of the rolls of tape. The first thing we will do is set up the band properly. Good idea. Next, we'll, we will have you set up the door curtain while I take care of the candles in the corners of the room. I remembered what you said about how the room would look scary without kind of lighting, so I thought it would be best if this was done before covering the room with the black paper. She remembered that. This girl's amazing. Now I'm the one who's blushing. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Love that sprite. Where she's like fitting with her hair, but she's like lot smiling. Aw, oh, so cute. And I noticed the way she fills with her hair is like she's playing like a fucking, um, a string instrument. Do you ever realize that? <laughs> Let's say she's, she's playing a string instrument. She looks away and blushes for, for more times than I can count time and giggles to herself. Is that better than the two square to the three square time? With that, we both got my chair and bring it toward the top chalkboard. This got atmospheric. Carefully grabbing and holding one of the corners of the banner, we bring it up together and mess around with trying to tape it on the chalkboard. The paper's texture throws me off a little bit, but it's nothing I can't get used to, at least the tapes are sticks to it. As soon as I make sure my upper half is all secure and not going anywhere, I decide to look beside me, since I'm higher up so I can get a good view of what's going on. This got very atmospheric. NASA keeps preparing the cupcakes for one of the desks. Sarah's making sure everything's alright. Marga's supervising everything. I can't help but quietly laugh at myself, thinking the club president me are overlooking everything as if she's unknowingly sharing a poem to some power or something. Blue, all finished up. What? You're just breaking my trance, snaps back into reality, and also makes me look at balance. Because as I'm feeling the embarrassment of everything that already hit me, something firm takes a hold of my back and prevents me from falling any farther. Embarrassment inside me is replaced with confusion, and then my fight or flight, fight or flight response kicks in as I manage to grab a hold of the edge of the chalkboard and myself right. Take a deep breath and looking around so I can hear by my side. Was it her that did that? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. That's my surprise, she walks to me and puts my hand on my shoulder. It's okay, I've got you back. But do try to be more careful next time. Even when she's looking out of me like this, it makes me smile pretty much every time. Understood. Let me take care of the bottle on my side and I'll be all done. Of course. <laughs> Good old Yuri. So I said check something on my fucking <laughs> my stream. I have, I have a stream thing open if you're curious. And there we go. Hell yeah! After taping the last piece of black paper on the wall, the room is an interesting atmosphere to it. Why that's not as intimidating as I thought it would be yesterday. One sec. <laughs> Shotgun sneeze. After me and Yuri had finished the banner, she prepared the candles all around the room and I took the liberty of setting up the door curtain. Afterwards, tape black paper to all the windows in the room that didn't have curtains. Please tell me that the festival goes well. Because last time the festival in Blue Skies didn't. <laughs> After I take a moment to reflect everything and take in the atmosphere, I take a round, a, a round look. I take a look around to the room and see Yuri on her last piece of paper. Might be the best I did when she's working, so I'll just head over here for now. As soon as I walk over and approach where she is, she takes a step back and is back to work, seemingly satisfied. You're right, Yuri. This doesn't look scary at all. I agree. I'll agree. Marcus' sudden appearance catches me and Yuri off guard. The room is pretty good, and the banner is impressive as well. Good job, you two. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. I can't, help but, I can't do two voices at the same time, alright? I can't help but blush a moment. So, Yuri and Atsuki, we just about done. Sure, so you saw Natsuki still looks like a consent. All done! All desks in each room have a pamphlet laid on them. 
Now all that's do is wait for the compass now. You know, I don't expect something like that from her. Good. Okay, everyone. We don't have much time for four people start showing up. Hope we'll grab a cupcake before we start time. Wait! Monica! That wasn't part of cupcakes! Fucking Sayori. Fucking Sayori. Shall we? She left my gears for Yuri, shows that she's looking inquisitively. I don't think I'll ever get that skin company before I'm willing to give one a shot. Sure, but only one though. I probably said that last part, but oh well. For both of us heads with the cupcakes are. They look like a standard little cupcakes, but frosting on the for cool tie design. Not to digress, but this reminds me of back when I was a kid. <laughs> now I was given a choice of what flavor certain stuff I wanted, I always chose what looked the most outrageous. I thought there was something super special about it. But now I'm just a bit older, it's not hard to appreciate more simple stuff like classic vanilla chocolate or not. Take the cupcake and tear off the wrapper. Oh god, no, make it stop. My eyelids immediately bolt upwards. While the cupcake feels nice and tastes fine, the frosting texture is absolutely awful. Where's your grainy? Blue, is everything okay? I got it, I clicked with my hand in my mouth for speaking. <laughs> what the f What the f What the fuck was that? Hey, you feeling alright? Yeah, I'm all better now. Sorry about that. What exactly happened? Texture thing, that's all. Texture, what do you mean? Yeah. It's okay, I think I understand where you're coming from. I'll admit, these cupcakes are different from the ones you bought in the past. No, she must have something different this time. That makes sense then. Have people made their way to the club room yet? A few people have arrived, but Sarah and Nancy are taking care of them right now. I see. Ooh. Are you nervous too? I am. I wish you didn't have to do this. In front of all those people too. Finally, someone else gets it. Uh, for all though, am I the only one who secretly hopes that we get any new members? Well, that doesn't really matter too much to me. But what makes you say that? Huh? I don't know. I guess it's like things that they are right now. <laughs> but I guess I wouldn't like to feel the club if probably people would join. Um, I know that Monica wants to see the good girl at all. Maybe I'm just weird like that or something. No, no, you're fine. I get where you're coming from. <sighs> I guess I, I guess I can't wait for this to be over. I have to agree. After this will be our very first real date, which I can't wait for. I don't blame you. Speaking of which, should we be starting soon? You're yeah, probably right. I bet Monica's wondering where we are now. Yeah, probably. Everything's gonna be okay. Let's face it together. That's so nice. Okay, that's cool. They put like chattering noises in the background. I hope this one goes well because the last one went awful. <laughs> like actually got awful. Uh, check out my Blue Skies route, my Blue Skies playthrough if you want to know what I mean. Back inside the club room shows that we managed to get quite the crowd. The atmosphere of the room looks different and catches me up a surprise at first, but it doesn't take long for me to re use re it. The chatter with the people at the club room makes me simply join it out so I can focus on and pinpoint instant voices if I want to. Check out the touch of the club room, which I see happily hanging out with one of my fellow students, which is in black, which is fair. I'm pretty sure that's Dwight. <laughs> A pretty respectable guy in our school, Dwight. That's gives some DVD vibes. He's African American, has black dreadlocks, and is rather, how do I say, big bone and taller than most students. He seems like a chill guy. But he's a member of the anime club and also in the top 50 academic in our school. Oh fuck yeah. Could this be a sunshine she was talking about? Maybe. Oh. Matsu 
Kiki is over by her array of cupcakes having a conversation with another one of classmates. Goruto. Goruto! Dark skin color most students around here and the same height as Yuri. He's one of my special education classes and is known for consciously of the teachers in a nice fashion by getting kicked out of class. How do those two men start talking to each other beyond me? Mark, on the other hand, is chatting up one of the guys from the New People Club, Todd, more specifically. The last time I mentioned about someone called Todd is when, ironically enough, I was reading a Bonica fan fiction. <laughs> and Todd in that fan fiction was an arsehole. Like, fucking Christ, he was an arsehole. Uh, <laughs> it's not a surprise to be talking with the likes, uh, likes of Monica. He plays number two academic at school. I bet there's something going on between them. Blue is everything alright? Yeah, everything's a bit better now. Sorry for you guys. Good, we're about to start in a few minutes, so I should tell you and your- Hey, we were really that bad? Oh god, oh no. I don't know what to say to her without being sound like a jerk. I know that if I straight up tell the truth to her, she'll probably kill me anyways. Oh fuck. It's not something as simple as that. Oh shit. This took a turn of the worst, ladies and gentlemen. But I can look pissed, and both of us can see I didn't look happy. Fuck. It only felt right. Now we always die. What the fuck just happened? Did you find go before him? Good. Go ahead and take a seat in front of your seats. I'll get everything on sale we get it started. Oh shit. <laughs> Just that little argument alone, like, this can't be good. During, during Monica says, me and Yuri take a seat up front, only to see Sayori, who starts talking at the moment you sit down. Hi, Blue, you excited for this? Yeah, I suppose. I'll be excited for when it's all over. Yeah, exactly. So I'll be dating Yuri. Oh, cheer up, you. Everything will be just fine. For your sake, I hope so. <laughs> Look over to Yuri for a second and show the face of what I can only guess is apprehensiveness. I wonder if she's also as grateful as uh, she's well asked to go so that she can get a feel of how everything can go. I don't know, that's just me. I mean, she was at the club last year and everything. The nervousness inside me built more and more as Marco walks to the podium and clears her throat. Oh. Fuck. This is where it gets awkward. Okay, everyone! Her voice is like controlled. She is. She is good at projecting her voice. Hello, welcome to the second annual Literature Club Festival event! It means so much to us to you, take your time to check out what we have in store for you all today. The pamphlets in front of you should give you the idea of what I'm about to go down. Hey lady, what we got going on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he has like a skater voice. Yep, yeah, pretty simple of him. I don't know how he has the nerve to speak like that. Sicker a bit. Marcus is a bit unfazed. And proceeds to crisply point at him. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> the club president. The rest of the club will be having our own poetry performance. We'll each go one at a time and I'll take the honors of getting this started in a little something I wrote called the library. Marcus was really good part to everyone. Her voice is confident as clear as it always been, which I always assume joins our attention. Oh, so we actually have to read the poem this time. Interesting. Each book is painful to read, some hurt physically, some emotionally, but some don't. Hmm. Interesting. Everyone in the room was there for me. Well, I'm looking forward to really good. No, I don't know why I can remember to clap. There's a weird scene fear that people have their eyes on me. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you, everyone. Now, see the person with the cupcakes you enjoyed. I'm very old That's a key. That's good. Enjoyed. That's an understatement. Surprisingly confident. <laughs> Fucking Christ. My main character is savage. <laughs> I was so kind of surprised to find to get a step stool for her to stand on because how sure she is. Fucking Christ. How savage can you fucking be? She adjusts the mic in front of her to match her height. There I go, my sweets. Well, well. Testing, testing. No. Surface ear empty then. I'm Natsuki, and you heard right. I made the cookies, I hope we all liked them. On that, on that, that I got a poem to read, so listen up. Ben's becoming more and more remote. Normal sounding, I guess. I've seen read that kind of stuff you wrote before, and this has to make sense of realism. Monster. Reminds me of the skillet song. I feel it deep within! Or a monster from, uh, what's the song called? I'm friends with the monster inside of my bed. That one. Everyone comes once again, and Atsuki shines a bright smile towards everyone who returns the seats. This is way better. Up next, our very own Vice President Sayori, take it away! How on earth could she act like this today? Hi everyone, I'm Sayori, so happy to all show up today. I wrote something for a very special sub- Whoa. <laughs> Devil face palm. Here's the embarrassing part. Yo, my guy, chill, Jesus. Sorry about that, my bad. That was awkward. Fucking Christ. There's certain someone out there, here it goes. The bouncer of voice is still present as she begins reading, but the tone of voice becomes more and more natural, she continues. I live a double face palm, like that's key and Marcus like. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, hand motions. The same wings. Sounds like a fucking anime song. That was incredible. That was so good that I'll clap along with everyone else. She deserves it. That was fucking ridiculous. One thing though, I'm seeing a pattern. They're all starting off their name and what they will be performing. I know Yuri is just quite nervous about this. Maybe I can say something helping them on a good answer. Besides, I think she knows up next anyways. Look over to Yuri, make sure she's done clapping, I smile, and really took her hand to grab my attention. You'll do just fine. I'm sure of it. I slowly took my hand from hers, all she does is give me a gentle smile. Yuri caught both for attention, as we both drowned her out of something. Alright Yuri, you got this love. Now Yuri has social awkwardness, this is why it's going to get very interesting. Right to everyone. She does what I think is a quick look around the room. Go on. Her voice and her words sound as lovely as it always does, and I can't help but put out a dumb smile into listening. A ghost companion. The tendrils. I want to see. Hold on. This might be a reference to me. The tendrils on my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing in the distance of blue-green flickers. A lone figure skips into the streetlights, avoiding the eerie darkness that surrounds us. My heart is curious. Yeah, she's vibe with love, because... Yeah, okay, that's so cool. That is fucking cool. It's like Ghost of Light Part 2. A big of the vibrant orange glow. A vibrant orange glow. Yeah, but he's, she's writing the poem about, about, about me. It's about me. A vibrant orange glow with my eyes. Yep, there's a different aura that reigns within him. I can't help but feel some connection between us. Yep. A tenacious wind blows through, causing him to fall. He stopped from my street lights. Which the fuck is oh, reference to what happened, um what happened uh, like a few minutes ago. An air of melancholy surrounds both him and I he says, I'm sad somehow in any words. Sympathy now festers grows my soul, my heart pounds. Yep, that's all helping hand. Yeah, she's really about me. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Man, I thought Sayori's was good. 
That was amazing. If I didn't clap, I would have to lift myself. I can't but endlessly smile to make my way back to the seats. Yeah, Yuri, that was nuts, man. And now, but last the least, the member blue. Let's get this over with. It's okay, let's get this done. For the club's sake. To make Yuri Curry happy. Hi everyone, um I'm blue and I had two rows to about who is as of recently, it's become more important to me. So we ask everyone. Can I read my actual poem? Yep. Okay, that's cool. Our castle walls. The entire reason, the entire point of the game itself, the name of our game, our castle walls. Very fucking clever, I'm loving this. Now, has he read a, like a Yuri type of poem? A collection of characters that are both physical and mental and makes me completely unique, and I realize that not everyone across the path will be interested in what I have to offer. My strength comes from the belief that someone somewhere can and will appreciate who I am. Yep, Yuri. Within all walls of my mind, stay away repeats itself alongside me means survival. Choose your friends wisely. Wise from those who are far away. I think I've just done that. So, especially someone out there, I'm glad to call my friend. That's Yuri. They're kind, they're smart, they're high of pure golf. That is Yuri. I win. She's. Uh, yep, she, Yuri. Very well. Yeah, this is Yuri. I don't know her, but she smiled. And further smile that warms deep inside me. I know the words I could say, but I understood. And that's uh, Serendipus Octopone Octopo Knight. She gave me more than most ever could. Wow. When life gets tough, both by people and by mind. When nothing makes sense and I'm all by myself, you're there to embrace a place to retreat. Like I found new walls inside him. The general is quite magical. I don't, I don't ever want to let go. A reference to Titanic. That's fucking awesome. Any tools you have, I'll be here time and through. I shall to lean on. A guy is standing strong. I know I don't deserve a treasure like you, but please, let me be the one to seek out first. Two different people side by side will venture on, even if my journey is a little humpy, we'll see if our cost walls. Okay, that is beautiful. That is very beautiful. So, so you're doing a poem for me, and I've nailed my poem. Okay, that is. Right, Mr. Zero the Man, if you're watching this, mate, you're fucking talented. I mean, perfectly honest. What the fuck? Thank you. The whole clash, the whole classroom collapsed one last time. I could have sworn I said, "Ah, oh, the all oh, is in there somewhere." <laughs> well, that was one way to finish. And thank you everyone for stopping by today. I hope you all enjoy this club, and may the rest of the festival festival commence. Holy shit! It actually turned out good, dude. Fuck yeah! Oh, that's awesome. That's that's fucking awesome. It actually turned out good. I'm so happy it turned out good. All the cookies are gone. No surprise there. Who's gonna take care of everything? Me and her are supposed to hang after this. I like to talk about this. You really talking with her? That'd be more curious. This didn't last for long, however. The series has been uh, has noticed right away. Six weeks blushing. Hmm. Oh, blue. You were just talking about you. You were? Well, sort of. You don't have to worry about taking care of the decorations. We'll keep the bar in the closet for it to stay. How's that sound? Did... Did she read my mind? Nah, you're probably beat me to something. It's too bad we can't just keep the bar for the rest of the year. Very cool. I like that. Good. Leaning down to give me one of the look of hers replaces the relief and some of curiosity. You two can enjoy the rest of the festival now. The both you deserve it. I know exactly why I say that too. Does the right answer consider too? Ah, uh, never mind. Shall we? Yes, please. Fuck yeah. Step out of the club room as students pass by. Pass by us. Both me and Yuri stop outside the door with our expression remaining the same. I can't help but breathe a sigh of relief now the performance is all over. We did it, Yuri. We did the thing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever agreed with a um, color fuck. I can't say that word. I'm very sorry. I don't know why. I've, I don't know why I play these type of games. Why? Because they're good, and I don't know how to say that word. You all know of the power of Google. Just give me a second. I'll type the word out. Colloquialism. 
The fuck's that voice? Colloquialism. Colloquialism? That colloquialism in of my life. Mm hmm. I see what the people are today. <sighs> me too. I always put the silence and make me feel unsure about everything, fills the air until your breaks the set silence. Blue. Um, please, see me real quick. Uh oh. Does that sound like this for reason? Is there something wrong? No, nothing's wrong, just. Would it be too much to ask if you were to visit the library first? The library? Is there something going on there? I don't remember the fortune teller being that like a chair. I mean, I wore this bag, but I'm not opposed to it. Something going on in there? Well, no, but. After what we just went through, I don't feel up to being around with a lot of people right now. I much prefer to read your books somewhere until I feel right enough. I hope you understand. She did just be over all the, the cupping um, the, the, the debacle, so, um, so it would be very mean if I say no, let's get outside right now. I still close to grab her hand and saw fingers mash. I do. This is our first day after all, so that includes stuff you want to do. Besides, we're at a good spot in my book anyways. You just smile makes the mood. Thank you. I'll lead the way. Well, I'm happy following her to the library, I can't help but realise I don't remember where it is. Oh, thank God. Okay, fire at the library. It's much more quiet compared to the halls, and the lack of students here makes things all better. Been way too long since I was last year. Maybe the principal's overlooking everything that happens in the today. Doesn't matter either way. With the hands all together, Yuri guides me to one of the facts and tables. After we take a seat, she pulls her book out of her bag, resuming our reading position. So this is our day, sir. Not complaining. Thirty minutes later. Interesting. So half an hour later, so we've been in the library for half an hour. Not gonna lie, that was a great idea. Me and her made considerable progress and we're actually pretty close to the end of the story. Grants the whole battle sequence with um chaos it, in my story was exciting and all I had to remind myself that's getting worked up during. Yuri's hand breaks away from mine as he reaches over towards the book. I think we should call it here for now. I know it's at her as she puts a book in her bag. Yeah, definitely. I forgot how excited that part was. It's not I realized I'm supposed to keep my voice down in the library, but you didn't seem to hear. I'll admit, that was quite fun to read. Although I don't quite understand how they were able to find barrels of TNT on the island. Nonetheless, it adds to my list of best action sequences that I've ever read. This girl's way too cute. I love it. Nice. By the way, how are you feeling? Much better now. How about... Not cool. Uh, I think that answered it for you. <laughs> then I still have it. Should we get going? I have the approach you to my mind and in mind. Look at her. Let's do this. As I can meet, you're headed. Hell yeah! Walking down the school halls with Yuri like this is a rather different feel to it. There's no unlock by any means. As we walk past the door to our club room, my ears managed to pick up the sound of a door opening behind us, to which I instantly turned my head to one sound. And sure enough, Sayori is shown walking out the door. The look on her face she spoke for sends me slight panic. Oh god no, she knows now. But all the things we possibly do, she gives you a bright friendly smile and says, Way to go! With that running through my mind, I generally smile back at her and look back up to Yuri, who I'm guessing didn't know Sayori at all. What was the school entrance, just the first stairs to go with me outside. Except maybe it's steady. I think about it. I don't really know exactly what you're gonna do, or what she would be up to wanting to do. Fuck, is that Wallace? There you are, just the person I looking for. A deep voice. As our hands turn to ourselves, the both of us turn around to see the principal. Oh, it's a principal. He's much taller than both of us, his mid-forties, a receding hairline, and a cigar at him at all times. Um, hi there. Yes, hello. I'd like to have a word with you for a moment. In a private. Instead of voice making me look away from him. But what can you put, resolve that? I'll be right back. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Walking to approach these principal, he turns away from Yuri and we walk inside to the principal's office. It's about Wallace. First, get there. Once I both take a seat, I can't believe extracted the papers on the wall. 
There's serious damage there. Let me see. Three, four, five. Uh huh. This is going tense. So, first off, how, is this, how has this school year been treating you? May have nervousness. Well, everything's going okay so far, besides some people are not very nice to me and my best friend. I don't really have any other complaints. Whoa there, my boy. Don't feel you have to hide anything from me. I've seen how you were with that girl earlier. I'm guessing it means he knows about me and Yuri. Besides that, though, you were talking about my son, Wallace. Is that right? Wallace is his son? You fucking... So you're telling me that dickbag of a fucking asshole who's been bullying me is the fucking principal's son? Fuck you. F I'm... Oh. Oh yeah, I completely forgot it was, it was his dad. Yeah, him. Well, I wanted to know that I had a word with him a few days ago about his recent behaviour. Good, but time. I want you to tell me if he ever does anything to you again. Can you do that? I mean, nice, he's looking up for me. Okay, thankfully. Thankfully, though, he's nice. Understood. I mean, yes, I. <laughs> You're fine, my boy. Now. Is there anything else that's bothering you recently? Likes to be most relaxed. No, that's all I can think of. Class is going okay, and I made a few friends, so I'd say that's pretty good. Good, good. I believe our time here is done. You may leave now. Whew. Okay, thank you. Whew. Oh, and one more thing. I mean, you stop at a track to turn around to face him curiously. Yeah? Don't forget that we'll be there'll be a fireworks show tonight. Oh yeah, but that's something I missed out last year. I know, I like how this music is like fucking like expect the guys level of mysterious. Thanks for telling me. Where the fuck's Yuri? Is she looking for our side? She in the classroom? Why was she blue? Huh? Yuri? Place it around walking towards me to which I prefer some relief. Sorry if I saw just now I was in the restroom. Oh I wonder why. At least you were safe. That's okay. Right hand side now. Let's get going. <clears throat> Notice that me and Yuri step out of the school building and into the fresh air that is when get greeted by the rays of light that shine from the setting sun. It's a very welcoming feel to it, the breeze just comes with us early today. Absolutely perfect. Let me just on site now as many as I thought it would be. I guess that's what spending time in the library does. There are still some stands um, up where I wouldn't mind checking out. The fresh air makes you feel more alive outside, inside, as the two of us expect everything to sit on side. So, Yuri, is there a particular to check out? Takes moments to think, like she usually does, before speaking up. Well, no, not really. I guess just spending time with each other sounds nice. Feels a bit embarrassed. Isn't that how dates work? Just so silly, I like it. <laughs> sure. Want to walk around for a bit then? Yes, let's. Before we get walking, two students in particular catch my eye while my stand makes me concerned. Wait, hang on. She has two over there? I point to them so you can see. That's Jason, that's Jason and Kyle, two of us as dumb idiot friends. Let's try to avoid as much as possible. Oh. Okay then. With that, I both depart from the school entrance and wander around the school courtyard for the station of mind. It's been a few minutes, and I've discarded half the sense already, it's the, ta the takoyaki one. Never liked the smell of that stuff. It doesn't seem too interested in what's going on either, as she has said, where does she left? But it doesn't last too long though, so we both come across a stand that we run by another member of the anime club. It's one of those knocked down all the bottle games by a stronger tall guy named Fly. I know him. Everyone needs to put the word kunai at the end of his name for some other reason. Fly kunai? Fly kunai? Fucking I? Fly kunai, fly kunai. No idea. I'm starting to get interested in some war and war of the approaches to the point where I stopped walking once um, there is to see what it's all about. Who bought all those? What is up, guys? How is it going? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll let you come out for a bit. H hey, fly, what's going on? Oh, not much. The festival's about over soon. 
So I got to two all around if you're able to pack up a shop. May as well. I haven't listened in a while. I'm just looking at the seven of all prices. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, that'll be five bucks. Jesus Christ, that bit much. Oh, okay. About two meters away from the 15 aluminum cartons, shape of an upwards triangle. Nightmare. Too bad those aim towards the, the bottom and that unlock must out, right? <clears throat> hey, not bad! Oh, you two left on the other side. <clears throat> like, like, she is determined as fuck. Which huh. is a big smile. I would have laughed if you played the fucking da -da 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 fucking um Final Fantasy victory theme. Man, I never got tired of hearing that. Probably because you heard it like three or four times today, but all right, well, looks good. Rampy, please. All through the state of five banks though. Um, what? She means the round toy. Tuh. We did it, Blue. Ha! <laughs> I guess we did. Ellie has a new friend now, fuck's sake. I suppose so. Yeah, I'm good. What about you, to eat? Sure, I don't mind. Fuck it, Yuri. What video by standard students from the Cookie Baking Club has the hand of their ba bacon sushi? After I ate it down a green one with Yuri, I didn't check what I said, I'm very sorry. Um. After paying for everything, we might finally see it near my bed to enjoy ourselves. You was even kind enough to bring all the chopsticks from the bag for both of us. I never like the sticky fig from ice my fingers. After enjoying us to the best, I can't help but notice that you raised some extra stuff along with sushi. Some of the green is something pink. I know what wasabi is, I don't like that one bit, but I don't know what the pink stuff is. <laughs> the pink stuff? Ugh. Hey Yuri, what's that supposed to be? It's ginger. Have you had it before? Nope, can't say I have. Can I try it? Sure. Wait, Blue, I forgot to mention. Oh. <laughs> Red screen. That was intense. I'm sorry, Blue. I forgot to mention you shouldn't eat it by itself. I kind of figured that. Here. Yep, Calpa closed my eyes and dreamly, still dream, and dreamly smile this time. Well, look how cute. Share the food with each other. That's how you got germs, you know. Fucking nasty key. Oh, shit. Hello, guys. That's it. I share his caring. He broken out my trance for Siri, nasty key, and Garoto in front of us. What's going on, guys? Rather than walking around, why does Garotto look pissed off? Now I'm gonna have a um, food spot I watch fireworks tonight. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that was a thing. You wanna catch tonight? After what I'm guessing because the light bulb got off her head, she returns back to normal. I would love to. What time did they start tonight? When it comes dark out, so I'm guessing like 3 minutes or so? Excellent. Let's go Blue. I know the perfect spot for this. Natsuki and Sayori just look as dumbfounded as I do. What well, she have in mind? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't take long after approaching me and walking away from Natsuki open her mouth. Hey, should you just stay here after that? And should you be filling the rest of the divorce papers? Whoa. Fucking Christ, Yuri! Damn, girl, she got you really good. Let's see, I take a talent, grab both girls, lift and shut them up. Zip it! Let's leave us two alone. Jesus Christ, Yuri, you harsh! What even happened just now? <laughs> Let's get going. That was harsh! 
That was so unexpected, holy fuck. Maybe she wants to watch the backyard or something. I'm sorry, Blue. Just resist. What's the matter? Just... Maybe I shouldn't have started that's okay. Oh, that. It's just... Everything was going so well for once. I was able to join the festival and I thought I was trying to break this time. Which it really wasn't. Hey, we all say things we don't mean sometimes. Please don't try to worry about it. But, maybe I'm gonna feel bad. I should keep my mouth shut. Look, I'm not gonna judge you over something like this. She really shouldn't be getting into people's business like that anyways. If it helps, she kinda know me too. I just hope it doesn't come back to haunt me. I'm certain it won't. I mean, look what happened after the second day of the club. What happened to you and her wasn't brought up the next day. I'm sure we'll be okay. This is the least. I suppose you're right. Thank you for judging me over this. It's no problem. Besides, another thing of saying something makes you feel out of place, and you'd hate to have it happen every time. Do you know alone? At least someone understands. We walk for a few more minutes, and much of a comfortable sound between us. It's almost completely dark outside now, and the sounds of the school grounds are now non existent. After seven minutes past, you end up walking right past her house. Did she everything pan out or something? Oh, by the way, I never asked. Where is that garden? Oh, you'll see. No, no, I have to bear in mind. Fourth place I see, I like it. Maybe the- oh, Maybe the park! The park of the moon? With the fucking harp? Oh, please. I would love that so much. That's gonna be a thumbnail if that's the case. Ten minutes later. Yeah! Because of Yuri's house, the park. This might be my thumbnail. The atmosphere around here has a nice feeling around it. Probably just the feeling of the members past year. Ah, uh, I see what's going on. I like this. We're not quite there yet. We're not? Yeah! I fucking called it! The harp and the, the moon! What? Wait. You don't mean... Oh my god, yes! Yep. Fucking called it. The spot of the lake. The darkest moon and stars have covered the light sky. Our full on tree hasn't been touched since the last time it was here, and the sound of the water makes it feel home. The both of us will stand there carefully, taking unusual spots, and taking the atmosphere of everything we can breathe a sorry relaxation. And the breeze will be felt and fast through the air. I'm kind of surprised in that next floor. Now I think I know why I didn't want to ruin this for, for you. I, well, I thought you'd appreciate this. The girl doesn't make me smile. I really do. It feels nice to be back out here again. I break both arms in the sky in a silly fashion to let my air passages open up as a deep breath. Water, nature, moonlight, atmosphere. How I love thee with a passion and fruit of the civilizations of thousands of years. I couldn't say any better myself. And I expect to rather loud explosion behind the background. Oh, I must have been a dud. Wait, they started. It's time. The water is full of colours. It's a miracle that you can see there from where we are. There's a faint echo and fizz around them once the colours and what disappears what's going on. I hope that's normal. They're so pretty. Please give me a CG. Start wrong, becoming nervous. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna take a quick, like, screenshot of this scene here. Just for now. And then later on, if, um, what's the word? If, um, I do get a CG, I'll cut that one instead. But for now, this would be a good thumbnail if I don't, um, if we don't get one. Coming near this one I just thought of, I make sure to not look away from her. Cause like I said, it's all I know. I still think that's why everything's going on. Maybe I should speak a little more and mention something about them. Did you know that fight just scare me? How come? Well, maybe when I was real little. If I had my dad told me, they were too loud for me to make everyone very upset. They said they were with fire, with fire tr um, trucks. And I'll offer to drive the drone. What's funny? 
this M this MC, which is blue, has sensitive taste and sensitive um, hearing. I also have sensitive taste and sensitive hearing. So, what the fuck? This is very coincidental. I bet I'm about to grow older. I see. That was never the issue for me growing up. However, this is my first time getting to join them in person. For real? How come? Well, you may think it's strange as well, but I don't know why my parents never told me to see him as a kid. It made me quite sad when I appeared from the books I read, but with fearing my inadequateness, I was never able to imagine them properly. That alone never did justice. The sound you hear on the TV is almost like an echo, as Monica once put it. It's nothing like right now. That scene could work too. I'm just getting a bunch of like thumbnail potentials. <laughs> Save that one. Everyone's looks at the other artificial the final TV sounds. That's rather unfortunate. Sorry to hear. Blue, don't be sorry. Not for one second. Huh? In all the years of high school I've been in, I haven't once decided to save the festival, with last year being an exception. What was the point if I didn't have any friends to share with? The experiences would have felt all all for naught if I hadn't all by myself. That makes sense, but why shouldn't I feel bad? Because you made today special for me, even if I was being difficult or needy. Oh! Thank you for t uh, thank you too for making my today special. Hey, I'm really happy with the festival together. I am too. Do tell. Just well, that we go to the same school, the same club together, hang out together, have interesting conversations with each other. Just everything, I guess. Because when she wraps her arms around my head and rests her hair on my head, I cowboy around my feet all around her shoulder and carefully rest my hand on hers. Yep! Alright, that is the CG I needed. That is what I needed. <laughs> this will be my thumbnail. I was waiting for this. Thumbnail number five. What should I call it? Because it's, it's, it's not like a hug. I'll just call it like, save, um, Yuri, um, and Blue Hug 2. That scene is beautiful. It's better than anything thing I ever felt around the club. But I can't even say that I can't because of the genuine smile is absolutely beautiful. Let's be this close knowing we made a festival special for her and her breathing slowly becoming more tandem. Hey, princess. Aww. Darling. Nothing in the past or future will ever like feel like today. For the rest of the night, the fireworks continued to serve the background noise instead of moving traction. Recently taking settings past, I never once wanted this moment to end. Nothing else in the world seems to matter anymore. I want to face together with her. Is that chapter 7 then? Yep, chapter 8, repeating history. Now we've still got hours to go. So, huh. Should I continue with this day? Do you know what? No, I'll, I'll end it there. I'll end it there. That's a good place to end, in my opinion. That's a really good place to end. The festival went well. You know, that's good. So we're going to end there. Save game. Main menu. Well, if you guys, man, I've got to say right now, we're five parts into this game. We've completed a week's worth of chapters, seven chapters. And 
Miss the Zero the Mance. Fucking cheers to you, dude. I'm taking. I'm. I'm swinging down my tea right now. <sighs> Literally, this game so far is better, in my opinion, than the Yuri Ruby and Blue Skies. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm very excited to continue playing. I hope it, it goes the same way it's going right now because that day was absolutely beautiful. Almost fucking cry. So you know, thanks for that. <laughs> But for now, guys, um, before before we, I progress even further, even further, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, drop a like and subscribe, as it always helps me. Also, Discord, Twitch, down in the description. Go to Discord, goes is on there. You know the gist. Twitch, I'm on there more than me living. Honestly, I know it's hard to think about, but it's true. If you see me on a Twitch stream, feel free to say hello. It's good fun. I'm also streaming sometimes as well. I might for a little change stream my Vorencraft episode, so that'll be a little change of pace, but you know, it'll be um, fun. I might stream, I'm not sure though, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I can, we'll have to see. If I don't, it'll be recorded. And also, Mike and H, they're part of the Vorencraft team, they're in the description, go check it out. Also, I'd like to mention about Vorencraft. With Vorencraft, I am struggling with ideas to Vorencraft. So, I plan for Vorencraft for Wednesday, when it does, when it, when it comes to mind, is that I'm going to record me going to the nether, and all that shit. Um, obviously, I still haven't heard of Will yet, so I want to play with Will really, really badly, but he hasn't texted me back yet, so I don't know how Will's doing. I hope, like, Will, if you're watching, mate, I hope you're doing good, because I haven't seen you fuck myself long, so... If you ever drop me a text back, please do, just because I haven't seen you in a fucking while, and I want to say hello to you again. But, yeah, apart from that, guys, it's been Blue, and I'll be seeing you in another episode. <laughs> Peace.